vibes. Last time you saw me, my hair looked like this. And now, it looks like this. <laughs> Let's see if we can sort this out. So this is my hair washed, absolutely no product on it whatsoever. And by looking at it, you can see that my 4C texture definitely has some stressed areas. Lots of little pieces that are elongated, basically resembling very heavily to heat damage. So what I do is I simply condition my hair after I wash it. This step never changes for me. So go ahead and use your favorite conditioner. You can see by looking at my hair that my hair is a lot more elongated, kind of stretched out. This right here is my hair steamer. Basically what it does is it infuses water or moisture into your hair. It's exactly the opposite of a dryer. A dryer basically is used to activate the product that you have in your hair. It softens it, it helps product penetrate better. This does exactly the same thing, but instead of doing it with dry heat, it does it with steam, moisture, basically infusing water back into your hair. This is the beautiful hair steamer. Last time I've checked, it was not in stock. I'm not exactly sure what's happening with production, but I'll try to link similar things below. After I've gotten my steamer up and running, I sit my head underneath the dryer with a plastic cap just to really circulate the heat that's going to be uh, encapsulating my hair. Putting a cap on really ensures that that moisture penetrates the strands of my hair. And I usually stay under there for about 20 minutes. That's usually when the water runs out. My favorite thing to do when I'm steaming, watch a TV show. This is Gypsy, amazing. You should check it out. So when my steaming is done, it alerts me, the steam stops and I remove my cap. Immediately, you can see that my hair has a lot more shrinkage. And shrinkage, though it can be annoying when you are looking to see the lengths of your hair, it actually signifies very healthy strands. Afterwards, you rinse your hair just like normal. And this is kind of a before and after. Before, top left, after taking up most of the screen on the right, and it's a very slight difference, but you can see that I have a lot more shrinkage. I have a couple of pieces in the very front that haven't completely converted back, but that is from prior damage. When I'm done, I follow all of the steps I do when I detangle my hair with no comb. I put on a leave-in conditioner, I top that with coconut oil, my favorite oil to detangle, and I go ahead and I detangle with my fingers. Oh, look at my hair! It's so thick. I am in love with it. My edges actually have a looser texture than the rest of my hair, uh, but I love to finger detangle my hair. I don't use a comb, and if you're interested in seeing the full process from top to bottom, no comb used, I do have a video specifically for that. But I love finger detangling my hair because it helps me retain the maximum amount of length, especially if you're trying to grow your hair very long like me. And as I'm twisting, you can see the power of shrinkage because my hair is definitely a lot longer than my mini afro. And that's it! I have videos on the whole process. I'll link it in the YouTube cards. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next Thursday. Mwah! <laughs>